The best way to describe Control is that it's a remedy game, meaning that it's tense, it's mysterious, it looks good and also offers straight up action, when there is no backtracking involved. In the game you play as Jessie, a gifted girl looking for her brother in an agency that deals with supernatural stuff. You get the director's gun and become the director of the building, and you travel from one sector to the other to solve whatever mission you get. The story is hard to explain because the game is mysterious. There are many YouTube videos trying to explain what's going on in the game. The map is weird, because you roam in an office building called the oldest house, and when you hear office building, it doesn't sound promising. But surprisingly enough, there is a nice deal of visual diversity in the game, and it's nice that there are secrets to be found on the map. Though beware that the game doesn't tell you clearly what you have to do or where exactly you have to go, it doesn't have an arrow pointing the way. The game just gives you hints and the map is horrible, it's really hard to guide yourself when you get this. You get an arrow that shows you where you are, but the map is confusing because the game wants you to memorize the building. In the combat you get a pistol that recharges, and by the end of the game you get 4 variants of pistols, which you can also upgrade to deal condensed damage or make it spin projectiles like a machine gun, and you can upgrade the weapons with mods. Also Jessie can do Jedi stuff. Ok, it's not Jedi stuff, but I like to call it like that. She has telekinetic powers. You can pick up objects and throw them, or you can rip the floor open and form a shield, which you can also throw into enemies. It, the combat is very satisfying. Also a unique stuff in the game is that you don't have the option to cover. But you'll get used to it, you, you'll get used to not covering in the game. Also enemy AI isn't the brightest, but from day one up until I've got to play the game, they fixed plenty of the issues. I mean, I've looked at other reviewers before writing this review, and they complained about the AI. I tried the same stuff and couldn't pull it off. Remedy has fixed the game via updates. Though what reviewers complained about is that there aren't that many enemy types. And it's true. You get like 6 enemy types. More would have been better. But the game is solid as it is too. Also some say that the game is repetitive. But it depends on you. The objectives and visuals do tend to get repetitive and the backtracking is annoying, but you also get new abilities at a good pace, which helps the gameplay not to feel stale. Also another complaint, and I totally agree with it, is the checkpoint system. It's annoying. If you die, you get restarted way back, and it's annoying. But on the upside, the physics system looks so good. And the powers you get also look so good and are so much fun to use. So overall the game has upsides and downsides. On the upside the combat is very satisfying and the game has some incredible moments in the story and especially in the side missions. Also the hidden secrets in the map are nice. But on the downside the backtracking, the pacing and the lack of variety in some parts and even the ending drag it down. But still. The game is worth playing, or at least checking out. The game is not for everyone. Those who don't like backtracking and not knowing where exactly they have to go and what exactly they have to do won't like the game. Still, the incredible combat and physics are reason enough to play the game. So while it's not a game any gamer would enjoy, it's still a really solid and good title. Ok, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.